Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, today um, I'm going to kick down this beautiful B card. I'm sorry, I no longer have the card. Um, I will put a photograph of the completed one. Uh, in the video um, because it was a birthday card uh, for my lovely sister-in-law so that one has already been done and gone off um, but I did put it on the in on Instagram for smashing the specials um, and it was beautiful and I'm gonna have to order another one because I won't want to go on my wall um, and then my head jog my special drill head jog from my comparison because I've had uh, one of my lovely subscribers who's been with me practically from the beginning, if not from the beginning of uh, my YouTube journey, uh, Jeanette, she's asked if I can show how I kit down my special drills um, and what I do. So that's fine. I can do that with these. So let's have a go and see what we can do. So first of all, I'm going to kit down the card one, the craft buddy one. I'll just pop that one out of the way a second. So I want my special drills, okay, and this is my box with all my, well, not all my special drills, but most of my special drills and the craft buddy ones now, um, all the newer kits on the back of the packets or in the kits, on the key codes on the kits, you do get um, a list of DMC numbers and then anything that has, say, an S or a Y or a YX or whatever, then actually goes into your special drills. Um, and then that gets put in here. So what I've been doing as I go along is we've got an S121. Now, I don't think I've actually got that one. So what I would do is go to my S's and I've got an S9, an S50, an S93 and an S110 and these are all the craft buddy codes I've decided that I'm going to use craft buddy codes for all of my special drills so as I get a new one um, if I've not got a bag for it I will set up a bag and then I will check on this side which are all the ones that haven't got a number on but are all in order <laughs> sorry I hope you're following this it'll maybe make sense as we go through it um, and see whether I have already got some. So what they tend to do with their special drills, um, all the round drills, and this is just the craft buddy ones, all the round drills tend to just have a number on them. I'm not sure that that equates to the DMC codes. I haven't got that far yet. It is still a work in progress, this one, but I'm quite liking how it's working at the moment. So that's the drills I've got so far. Um, they then have uh, M's, which seem to be the marquees. So anything with an M number at the beginning here um, of the number of the, well, they call it a crystal card, a uh, crystal code. So we'll call them crystal codes because that's what they say on the packets. Um, anything that's marquee comes with uh, an an M before the number and the S's seem to be the teardrops. I'm not quite sure why it's an S, but that's what we seem to have there. So, oh, we've got another one there, 116. Okay, so that's those. Um, X's are at the moment stars, which would possibly make a little bit of sense. And then Y's seem to be all the larger rounds in various different sizes. So, Sometimes when you're doing a special drill painting, it will have a larger round and they seem to be all the Y's. And I thought, yeah, rather than trying to make up my own and getting myself confused, I thought it would probably be easier to just use their codes. Um, and what I'm intending doing is actually setting up a chart um, like this, uh, like a DMC code book but actually of the craft buddy numbers and letters and then sticking one gem next to each one. <laughs> oh, I do set myself some tasks, but I just thought that will make it easier than looking through this side um, for ones that haven't got numbers on. I'll have like a chart like you do with your G DMC codes. So that's the plan in the end, but let's get these put away first. So let's have a look at these gems and see. Yeah, I'm not quite sure these numbers haven't really got 
right, the numbers to match these, but we'll see how we go. So that's the bag that that came in. So let's have a look. I've cut this out as well because I'm going to keep this um, in my little specials book where I put all my specials. All right, so these are all the sort of like the, just the gems, the crystal gems. And that's a normal. I'm not going to put the normals away. They will just be the normal um, DMC numbers. H is 3370 and F is 762. Sorry, I can't read. And then we have another couple. So say they will just go back into my normal drill storage. Craft Buddy do tend to do a mixture of different ones. So they will go into my normal drill storage. Now, this is the one that has the letter next to it. Oh, that one's a 310, so that's another normal. So we have these to look at. But yeah, they've just got a number. They haven't got a letter next to them, so that's fine. Okay, so we're going to look at this one first. This is a teardrop, so we know this is going to be an S, and it's S121. Now, I don't have any S121s because we've looked. We've gone to the S's. Sorry, I've got a little dog that's decided to have a real good scrat about on bed. <laughs> She's just making herself comfy. I always have that little Millie Moo with me, making herself comfy. So I've only got up to S116 in these, in the teardrops. So I'm going to pop those back in there. I'm going to find myself a bag. And these are the nice bags. These are the ones that I use in uh, my normal drill storage my normal resin and acrylic drill storage and the bags that are that bit thicker that stand up uh, the ones that rebecca uses and then i just need a sticker and are you, i'm using the round stickers on these oh best laid plans so i can't find my stickers <laughs> I've got a funny feeling they're downstairs in uh, a folder because I was doing all my drill storage downstairs while hubby was poorly uh, last week. So um, I'm just going to put this sticker on for now and I will put one of my nice round Rebecca's Admo Zest stickers on. Um, really pretty look, they have a little diamond on them there. You can just see that lovely little diamond in the background. I don't like using the posh ones. So I am just going to put on this one. It is s one two one okay oh this is a horrible bag let me get my tray just in case i spill you know what i'm like okay and we've got quite a few of those left so i do like that and then i'm just gonna recycle that bag hopefully so they will go in there now what i'm going to do is go to my gold and see whether I have any of these in the unnamed ones. So all my golds I have. So I have it labelled with a gold label at the front. The black piece of card is just to make the white stand out a little bit more. Um, I will eventually find something that's a little bit better than uh, just having bits of card. But at the moment, that's how I've set it up. Um, it is sort of a prototype. It's just a work in progress. So... Uh, Behind the first uh, piece of card, I have all my round golds. Oops, that one's gone down a bit. These are actually all the bags that I used prior to getting the better bags that stand up better, which is why they have a little piece of card in, because it just helps it stand up rather than slip underneath all of the other drills. And then you lose one and then find it weeks later when you're looking for something else. And then I have all my teardrops and my marquees behind the next piece of card. So we are looking for a teardrop in a, a gold. These are all the marquees first. So yep, yeah, that's a marquee. Um, I may, if I've got enough pieces of card, I may separate marquees and teardrops, but I didn't have enough pieces of card cut to do that at the moment. So that's why marquees and teardrops are in the same one. So that's sort of similar and see but it's actually a smaller size so this is what i'm doing i'm just comparing to see if i've got any of the same so similar but not the same 
and then they're the same size but they're a different colour and they're a different shape so no we haven't got any in there so I know now that there isn't any there and I can put these away because I haven't got any in the other side okay eventually I hope to have all of this side or most of it labelled up so that it fits into the craft buddy uh, numbers and then you know I'll know what I'm looking for I'll know what I've got um, the third lot of uh, gold behind the third piece of card is then just all the other different shapes and sizes these are all stars and then if there was any um, different flowers or um, I've got the little rectangles there look they were left over from one of my Christmas projects they're just a little rectangular gold gem there so they all go at the back so it is sort of organized but I want it so that I can eventually look on a chart um, and then say oh well that's the one I want to use and that's where it is in the box okay that's the idea so far anyway so let's now get these just standard gems put away so we have number 16 is I so is that one I yeah, that one's got an eye on it. So have we got a number 16 in just the normal gems? Now, I have actually um, sorted these out into colours. So let me just find this one. Rather than putting them in numerical order, I've put them in colour order, which probably wasn't the best way to do it. Um, so let's have a look and just get all the golds out. So I will be putting them back in number order. It's just the way... That I did it for now so that I can see what I'm doing. I think it was while I was matching up uh, my box of other gems. Okay, okay, uh, I'm back. I've put all these into numerical order again now. And um, what I had done was put them in colour order so I could chest them. Chest them. <laughs> that was a cross between check and test. <laughs> Uh, than between just my plain gems which I've got in this separate little box okay so what were we looking for we were looking for a number 16 was it yeah number 16 so let's see whether we have got number 16 and yes we have got number 16 so now I can put these gems into this bag because that is the one that we already have and I know all of these in here I have checked against my just standard gems in this box so I know I don't need to go and check to see if I've got any in there uh, when you're doing this particularly with the crystal gems um, I would try and do it in daylight or under a daylight bulb because they do look very different on a night time just in artificial light um, and some of the differences on some of these crystal gems are very much like the DMC code, you know, when you get like two greens or two reds. The di it's just such a subtle difference. Um, you may end up putting the wrong ones in the wrong place. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. But at the moment, because I've redone this, I want to try and keep this as sort of like near to as possible as to how I want it so that all the colours are separate. So the next one is J and J on here is number 23. You can see it's this number whoops where am i looking it's this number there if it will just focus in yeah so it's this column i'm looking at the crystal codes that i'm looking at so have we got a number 23 in our box and yes we do have a number 23 so i can put these away as well so that's good because i am running out of the really good bags and i'm debating whether to order another lot because they are a considered purchase just for plastic bags and um, they're a lot you know compared to others uh, and i've only seen them on amazon because obviously if you order from the chinese sites from aliexpress you don't know what the quality are you don't know whether they are this quality or not so yeah so that's that one so what's the next one we've got two greens now so we're looking for K. That's why I keep, when I do them, I put the little part of the packet with the letter on. Um, and I keep the code number of the card as well. That says CCK um, 
A61 on there, which is the code for this card. If we look on this packet somewhere, it says it. Uh, no, it's on the back of the card. <laughs> it's not on there, it's on the back of the card. And we don't have the card because it's been delivered for a birthday. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so K is 26. So, do we have a 26? And yes, we do have 26. So, that's really good. So let's get these into here. Can take that off. And it just saves having to colour match. Um, if you have got sort of a, a sequence, I see it's going to work out similar to using DMC codes, but this is going to take longer to do. Um, oh, come on, get out, get out, get out. These are just not wanting to come out at all. Little devils, right. Okay, so that's 26. And then the last one on this one is number 29, which is L, yep. Yeah. So do we have a 29? And yes, we have a 29. It just makes it so much easier if when you're de-kitting and you're wanting to keep, like even your resin and acrylic drills, you know, having them in DMC order and little bags makes things easier. Then this makes things easier. And I do do a lot of Craft Buddy um, crystal cards. So if you've been with me for a while, that's how I actually got into diamond painting was doing the craft buddy ones. I started with cards because I am a card maker, paper crafter, uh, first and foremost, and then I've just got into diamond painting and I love it and I'm addicted and it's costing me a fortune. <laughs> but I don't mind. Right, so now we are going to de kit the special drill hedgehog. Now this one just has symbols and things, um, it doesn't give us any code numbers, any references. So what I'm going to be doing now is matching these drills up with this space that I've got. But I'm going to start off with the crystal ones first, the craft buddy ones. So I've kept them all in separate bags. So let's have a look and see, oh no, and they're all escaping. So I've not sealed one of the bags up very well so let's get these out looks like it is just these little crystal marquees so that was a good job that I kept them in that plastic bag so they're just standard crystal oh that's one that's escaped there look just pick him up and put him in there we'll put all the standard ones to one side we've got pink teardrops we've got little green rounds oh that's the don't need that anymore that's just the cover sheet i keep that with it so i know which gems they are fortunately it looks like it may be just one bag that's escaped yeah it's all these so let me get these put back in this one and again as i'm doing a kit i do keep the little numbers there so if i've missed one i know which one it belongs to but i don't need those now because they don't actually relate to anything so these are the specials down here we've got marquees marquees we've got pink marquees and then these are the standard gems that's another is that a green no that's another crystal one that's escaped look put that one in there let's just move these all up here a bit so that you can see them better i've got a horrible feeling i'm not in shot my uh, mirror that i use the Mirror app has decided to stop working on me again. Our internet connection is disgusting at the moment. Um, and we do pay a lot for it, so it makes it even more annoying. Okay, so that's one of the crystal there. And that's a round. Get rid of that. So what we are going to do, because we know that the marquees um, are all an M, in the craft buddy the crystal art ones so i'm going to get my m's out so as i get more of these i am going to need a code card or something with them on so that it, i won't need to take them all out otherwise it's just going to take forever just pop that one on one side so we're looking for two greens a plain silver and a pink so that's a green but that's too small that's like a silver a b but that one is a different colour they're too small they're too small so we haven't got any of these 
in our craft buddy ones so i can't number up and put any of those in there so now what i need to do is go oh well let's have a look at these as well first the teardrops so we decided teardrops were s and have we got any small pink teardrops in the craft buddy ones no we haven't so i am now going to go across and have a look in these so we'll look at silver first and we're looking at silver marquees so i know they will be the second lot um in my cards at this side let me just so the first lot are the larger rounds and the second lot at the back are the marquees and the teardrops so they're all the teardrops there and now we start on the marquee so we want like an ab coated marquee and that is looking pretty much that size no it's not that bigger size that is looking pretty much oh it is no that's oh they've got muddled up look i've got two bags here and this is what happens when you do things late on a night i do believe i think they're all are they all one size it also helps if you've got a piece of card in because then you can put them on the piece of card and look yeah i've actually what's happened is i've got muddled up there look and i've put smalls in with the larger ones in two bags so i've muddled those up oh no so what i'm going to do then is keep those out and if i get a spare five minutes i'm going to sit and just separate all those out oh joy of joys <laughs> But if it was correct, then I would be able to uh, use that and uh, yeah, put that because you can see that they're the same colour and the same size. So I will keep those out. I won't do it on camera because you will just get so bored. OK, so that's the silvers checked. Right. So the next colours we've got is like a bluey green and a pink. So let's have a look. I think they're in the next row. So that's red. So let's have a look at the pinks. We don't want the first card, we want the second lot. Okay, I'm back. Yep, the internet connection uh, went again. Um, it's Kingston Communications uh, in Hull and the outskirts of Hull where we live. Um, there are actually, we actually have one of the only privately owned telephone companies in the country. I think Jersey is the other one and I think we're, you know, and it covers this area, which was great when I was a kid. It was brilliant. You could um, stay on the phone all day for one flat fee, which was just under five pence. Um, and now, of course, with everything that's gone on, it's got more and more expensive as it's gone along. And now we are actually more <laughs> expensive than most of the rest of the country. Ah! Uh, and we can't have any other internet provider, so we are stuck with King's Communications and it drives you potty. Well, it doesn't me anyway, um, because as I say, it keeps cutting out. I mean, this is a Monday afternoon that I'm filming this. So how businesses cope, I have just no idea. Anyway, I'll try and keep it in camera. I have more or less know where I need to be, but I apologise if at some point I'm trying to look at something close up and you can't see it, I'll, as I say. You'll just have to shout at the screen. <laughs> So, where were we? Oh, goodness me. Right. I've completely forgot. No, right. So, we've checked these um, and we were going to look at the pinks, weren't we? So, they're teardrop pinks and they're very pale marquee pinks. So, let's have a look in our pinks and see what we've got. So, behind the first card, I know it's the rounds. So, behind the second card... Hang on, that's the first card, that's the second card. I know we're going to have marquees and teardrops. Now, they're a little bit small for those, but they look, oops, pop them in there, pretty much the same one. And let's have a look. Just measure up the size. So you can measure it up in the package. Yep, that's the same one. So I can put those into there. Okay, if I can get the bag open. Sometimes sliding it to the side works and sometimes it doesn't. But fortunately, and this time it did. So let's just pop 
those into there. Say, I love my special drill gems. I think it's from coming from card making. I've always used gems um, and embellishments and things. So this is just wonderful for me. Uh, and sometimes I just get them all out and look. <laughs> Right, so let me get my ones with my cards again. I'm getting a bit muddled here because I'm squashed into a bit to make sure that you can still see. So that's the rest of the teardrops, so they can go away because these are little pale marquees. So it's not those, not those. No, they're pale, but not that colour. Oh, I love those. So we need a new bag for these. So we've got another colour. So I've still got my bags left over from doing my oops others and i want a little piece of card oh, i've got a bag look with a card in it so i'll use that one okay put that one back over there i hope you're following this as i say this is just my idea of doing this and um, it what it's what works for me it may get tweaked a little bit in the future i have got a lot and i am getting an awful lot of different ones and as you can see i've got a whole box full of specials now but i do do a lot of special paintings i love doing the special drill paintings they make me smile and that's what it's all about so I'll pop that one away there so now we want greens so we have uh, a sort of a oil on water effect iridescent green there and then that one is a little bit ab coated but that's a paler one so let's have a look at these so that's all the rounds at the front and then we want to be looking for marquees so these are the marquees let's get these out first oh, we don't need those big ones we definitely know it's not those big ones and they're all the teardrops at the back so, and that's the rounds and let's just move that one there okay i don't need to cut some more pieces of card so they're too small and the wrong color and um, they're too small and the wrong color now are they the same let me have a look and let's just get two together look that's the one that's in the packet and that's the one that's in this bag and i would say yes they're the same so i can put these away okay it does take some doing i mean i know i could spend this time diamond painting but i think sometimes i quite like a bit of organization and having a look at what i'm doing <laughs> And it just makes them that little bit easier to find if you do then want to use them again. Okay, so now we're looking for sort of a paler green one. Oh, now then, is it this one? Is it this one? Are they a bit bigger? Let me have a look. No, you see, they're actually the same ones. But uh, that one, I don't know, are they? I think I've maybe got two muddled up in there actually as well. I think they're slightly bigger than those, but are they those? Let's see, let's see. Mm, oh, yeah, you see, that's the same size as that one. So do I go with it? Or do I think, yeah, you see, that one is slightly bigger. So I have muddled a few up in that one. So I'm going to make a new bag for this one because those others are muddled up. And like the silver ones, at some point I'm going to have to sit and sort them all out. So we'll give this one its own little baggie. Take that out. They do get annoying when you're de-kitting, actually keeping the numbers from the special drills. But then it does make it easier when you are actually doing your painting. And I'm now going to keep those out because I'll need to separate those as well. See, so it's just jobs that I don't have to do. But I think, well, sometimes, particularly I'm finding that my thumb is starting to work a bit now because I'm a hard presser when uh, I do diamond painting. So I'm finding, as I say, that I maybe need a bit of a break from diamond painting. So this is just something else, just organising. It keeps me happy, what can I say? <laughs> Now then, this is where the fun bit comes, because these are all these just normal gems, 
and the craft buddy ones aren't although they're all in number order they're not in color order now i know that number one is the plain crystals so we'll have a look at that yeah i mean oh that yeah that's the plain crystal i think i've probably got some oh i don't know what do you think i think i've possibly got some gray ones in there so these plain crystals have i got the plain silvers in here I am just going to add into my normal bag of plain silver. I think you can see there, some of those are a bit dusty and not very good. And of course, I have still got my jar as well <laughs> with all my silver crystals in. <laughs> I'm collecting silver crystals. Okay, so I'm just going to put these in here. Okay. So if I didn't have my jar... And, well, I will be donating some of them anyway. So I've got the charity. But, uh, I donate two, so we'll pop that one back in there. So now you see, it's a case of going through all these to see if we've got those colours. So I do need to sort out. When you, uh, if you go onto the Craft Buddy website and look on downloads, that's craftbuddy.com. Um, or craft, no, craftbuddyshop.com then you can actually print out um, the list of every code number that they use on every kit <laughs> I mean obviously a lot of them are duplicated but as you can see uh, yes I'm the person that went ahead and did that with the view of sorting them all out and putting them into order when you do um, get mixed kits then this is I think this was the Christmas card kits possibly I got um, which has your numbers at the top it doesn't have the pictures of the, th of the um, cards this was the cards I got but I've highlighted which ones were the gems for when I first started putting them all into separate bags now I could do that on all these and it will probably take me forever but I may do it or I may just do my own list similar to this and as I say stick one gem from each one next to it so all I would then need to do is pick up my packet and match it up to the colour from there that's my intention eventually but at the moment I haven't got around to doing that yet when hubby comes out of hospital then that's quite a good job that I could do sat downstairs with him again easy to pick up and put down if I'm not diamond painting right so let's have a look at these colors and just see if we can spot anything that's similar we've got a pink we've got a green we've got an aqua and we've got like a peachy color so i'll just quickly go through these the other good thing about them being in these bags as well is you can look uh, tip them upside down and look at the bottoms <laughs> oh <where are> missus <laughs> that just came out wrong but anyway uh, so no I mean they're not they're definitely gold they're not a peachy colour they're not mm, this, are they similar to that one the best thing to do is just pick them up and have a look no they're not it's starting to get a little bit dark in here and although I'm thinking that they may look the same from a distance they do close up they do so I'm going to say no that's a different colour to that one um, and put this one back in order that's number 15 um, and we haven't got that's the palish one there we haven't got anything that pale there no so I've not got those what's that green one no you see there are two greens that uh, well two or three greens actually in the crystals that are so much alike it's so difficult to tell them apart um let's have a look let's just put those back there so we know we've seen those so is this one of these greens no you see you get i mean you can tip them out and have a look Ooh. see when you get them next to them they just look so much the same it's terrible oh, I, don't, I think it is possibly that one is it that one is it that one let's have a look that one's a bit pale it is a darker greenish color let's just tip a couple out and have a look 
and compare them together. Sometimes it's the only way to do it. And uh, yeah, it's a faff. It is a real faff, <laughs> I have to say. So let's just put a couple of these, try and keep them separate, but we want to compare them as well. And oh, that one just decided to pop over there. <laughs> But yeah, looking at those together in the tray now, I think it's that one. So I'm going to go with that one. I am going to go with that one. What the heck? I am going to go with that green. We have made a decision. They are going in with these. I tend to find as well, when I've put gems together, that sometimes when I've then gone and put them on another project, um, I do do some of my own little projects and things, with these <laughs> they look really really different but in the bag and when they're together in the tray they don't so they're just little devils what can i say right now let's have a look at the next lot of colors just get a few at a time and no we haven't got that green we've got a turquoise but it's definitely not that color or that color Blues, blues, no, we don't have any blues. That's a gold, but again, that's a lot richer than that colour. And again, that's a, another colour. And yeah, they've actually got colour 93 there, which I would say is just normal. Uh, well, they're actually resin drills that Craft Buddy do. They're not the acrylic, they are the resin. Uh, that's a normal 310 and it's 93. So I'm not quite sure why that has that number, but I've left it in there just in case. So then let's see if we can get all the others out. Oops. And see what we've got. Right, so not that green, not that pink, purple, green, purple, green, pink, pink. Nope, it's darker than that pink. So I'll put those in there. I've got a very big hand, so I can hold quite a few. <laughs> There's a plane going over. I don't know if you can hear. Oh, no, it's a heli chopper. Helicopter. Wow, that's close and loud. And So, no, nope, so we haven't got any of those colours. Goodness me. We are very near um, the Humber, though. It's the main river that runs through um, the city. Well, on the edge of the city. And we are quite quite close to it so we do tend to get a few rescue helicopters hopefully fingers crossed they are just doing an exercise today and nobody's in trouble we don't want anybody be, to be in trouble right so now because we haven't got any in the craft buddy side we go to these crystals and see if we can match these up so we'll start off with the pink and see if we have any very pale pink nope that's a very different tone to that one so no, so as I say, you know, I've been doing this quite a while and it's amazing how many colours that you suddenly find you still have that are different to all the others. So let's get another bag with a little bit of cardboard. So these are left over from when I sorted out my drills before. I am very grateful to uh, Rebecca at Zest for coming up with this idea because it is a brilliant idea um, of putting all your spares in little baggies and uh, it has made the world of difference is just now adapting it to uh, work for my special drills and so that's another new pink to add into there so we have like a greeny colour we have like a browny bronzy colour and we have a gold and a peach so let's have a look I don't know whether that will be in green or blue. Depends how I was feeling on that day. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, it could be that colour. Yes, it's in greens, look. Okay. I suppose the more you do this, you'll get used to your colours as well. But this is just the way it's going at the moment. But uh, let's double check. Uh, oops, get a few of these flat tip it up the other way because they don't seem to be wanting to play that way <gasps> oh now then that could be a slightly different shade that's as light a shade than that so no it's not the same color oh dear did we have another one hiding at the back there i think we maybe did oh no that was the darker green so you can tell what i do look lots of 
trees. This is a lot of Christmassy ones as well. But, uh, I have. So let's just have a quick flick in the blues and see whether they're in any of the blues. Oh, no, then there's that one. We'll check that one. It's definitely not that one. And these are all definite blue colours. Okay. All right, I hope you're still with me and you've not fallen asleep. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh. No, it's, it is definitely that colour. Oh, I don't know. That one's, oh, that's just an escapee that's got in there. I'm just comparing it. Yeah, it's that colour. So it's in with the blues. Okay. It's nice when a plan comes together. I've got uh, Millie on the bed behind me, heavy sighing. I think it must be coming up to tea time. Or, well, e well, it's not evening meal. It's like five or six o'clock-ish. Well, she starts at around about half past three-ish, um, which is the time that Hubby used to come in from work, depending on his shifts in the shop. Um, and that's when she would start nattering because he used to have a snack when he came in. And that's when she would start nattering for food. Right, so the others will either be in orange or gold. So let's have a look at the oranges first, because this is like a peachy orangey colour. And that's a brownie colour, which I think I put in with the gold. So it's definitely not those oranges. And it's definitely not those. Now then, is it that colour? No, that's a lot paler than that one. So it's not that one. So now, oh, what's that one? Let's have a look. No, that's more brownie. So we haven't got that one in the uh, oranges. So let's have a look now at this brown one. Squash those out a little bit. It's not that one. It's not that one. Ooh, not that one. Could it be that one? Let me have a look. Okay. Let's just squash a few out and have a look. And, oh, come on. They're not wanting to play today. Play me up, but not play. Yeah, that looks close enough to me. That's uh, pretty good. Okay. Oh, I've just got a notification to say that uh, one of the people that I follow uh, on YouTube has posted a video and they post it around about four o'clock. So it must be about four o'clock-ish. <laughs> Okey doke. All right, that's that one. So just two more to go. So let's have a look in the gold and see if we have any in gold. Gold. Sorry, I'm not going to sing. Um, nope, definitely not that one. Um, that one's a very yellowy colour. That's uh, Oh no, that's a lot paler. And that's like a greeny gold. Nope, not that. That's too bright. Mm. Yeah, we'll have a quick closer look at that one definitely not that one not that one. Oh, it could be that one that one's a bit paler let's see oh that's definitely the contender for now and um, that's another brownie one so i'll put that in with the oranges put that one in there okay duck and then we'll want a bag for that one so i'm going to put these in with this one yay and then we're done is this the longest day kitty ever? <laughs> no, because I've still got them to put away. I shall put the normal gems away uh, while you're not watching because I won't want to uh, <laughs> completely send you all to sleep. Oh dear. But yeah, I mean, this is basically how I do it. Um, I will do it again on, an, on another one and then... You know, maybe I'll get a bit faster. I'll just get rid of those two gems that are already in there. And uh, maybe it'll start to make more sense to me as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's taken quite a while to sort of figure this out and get all these into uh, different ones. Because at one bit, I did just have like a bag of um, marquees and it had all the different sizes in it and then I had a bag of all the specials the different shaped ones and they were just starting to get too many so I decided actually I'm going to put that in oranges because I think that's more sort of peachy colour isn't it so I decided to start splitting them all up again oh what a fool what a fool <laughs> okay well I hope 
you've uh, stayed with me and if you have enjoyed seeing this and it's given you some ideas a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see more and I haven't completely put you off <laughs> press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell i've no idea where it is on the screen because set uh, mirror is still not working then uh, if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications which i've already just said <laughs> i'm going delirious now uh, then you'll be able to come and see what i get up to next but thank you ever so much for stopping with me and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now